According to Jason Iyer, the director behind the original Suicide Squad in 2016, his cut can actually be released one day. Now, ever since Warner Bros. decided to give fans what they want when it comes to Zack Snyder and his director's cut of the Justice League, fans has been using that as an opportunity to push for even more releases. Now, when it comes to the Justice League, I think there is a real reason why fans wanted to see the full movie the way that Zack or originally intended for it to be. First of all, not everyone was too excited about the way that DC handled the movie. Many felt that things were rushed out way too soon and it is easy to understand why. Marvel at the time was absolutely steamrolling when it comes to the box office and with that DC was probably just feeling a little bit left out and although the movie they released did end up getting some box office success in their own right, it was nowhere close to what Marvel was doing at the time. Marvel had one direction, one vision, one studio pushing everything out in phases and that proved to be an extremely successful business model for them. Now on the part of Warner Bros none of that was happening. They were just pushing out movies and every director were just completely having their own vision in terms of what they wanted to see and in terms of what they wanted to do. It was very clear when you looked at the movies, the timelines did not match up and at other times they just had completely different characters playing the same superhero and I'm not even talking about the multiverse. You had two Batmans, two Jokers and it just seemed like nothing was aligning. Now when it comes to Snyder and his version of the Justice League, sadly he had to leave the project due to family responsibility and many was upset that his vision never made it to the big screen. Now luckily at the time there was HBO Max and we did get to see the whole uncut version of the movie which was a very big improvement on the original work. Now it should also be noted that all of this happened due to a massive push from the fans. Now when you give fans a little bit of power they are going to go full insane and that is not always a bad thing. The Suicide Squad although not perfect did have a lot of fans excited and with that many do want to see the full unreleased version and the director does feel like there is actually a real shot that it might be happening one day even though James Gunn might not be too in favor of the idea at the moment. Screen Rant says here that James Gunn who was recently appointed as the co-CEO of DC Studios addressed the fan campaigns including the movement to get I Your Suicide Squad cut released. While appreciating everyone's voices the DC Studios head did make it evident that the DCU is all about moving forward. Now while Iger has responded professionally about all of this, a fan recently inquired how the director has a good relationship with Gunn despite not releasing his original cut and Iger made a statement that Gunn has always been good and respectful to him as a way to shut down some people's attempts of putting the two filmmakers against each other. However, Iger also clarified clarified that even though DC Studios has no immediate plans to release his Suicide Squad cut, he wants it to be seen stating, I believe that there is a real shot at maybe one day still getting it shared with the world. Now obviously we do not know if there is actually going to be a director's cut or not. I would say that right now it is probably a 50-50 chance. Considering that James Gunn wants to move forward with the DCU, it does make sense why he might not want to go back and rehash some of the older stuff. Suicide Squad just got a remake and it was actually directed by the new CEO himself so releasing an older version will not really make too much sense. Now if they are looking for more content to release on HBO then I think there is a real chance. Why would they just sit on something and not release it if it is available and ready to be pushed out? The problem with the director's cut is oftentimes there is additional filming that needs to happen and I just don't see that happening with the older version of Suicide Squad. With the Justice League they had to bring all of the cast back, they had to reshoot many of the scenes and it was also quite costly for them. There is no way that an old version of the Suicide Squad will be allowed to come back, shoot even more scenes and then release the movie when there is already a reboot available. 
available. There is a chance that they could release it, but only if no further filming is needed or needs to take place. It is clear now that DC wants to completely go in a new direction and they just want to move forward with this entire storyline. Screen Rant says here that DC Studios launched officially on November 1st as James Gunn and his new CEO who will oversee the business aspect of the division have barely been in their roles for a month. Gunn and Saffron are still getting settled in with the new DC Studios and beginning to map out their big 10 year plan for the DCU as they are now in charge of television, movies and animation for Warner Bros. However, just because Iron Suicide Squad isn't part of those plans currently doesn't mean that it can't change in the future. What DC is trying to do now is going to be no small task by any stretch of the imagination, just mapping out the movie side of things is already going to be extremely hard and then if you include animation and TV shows it's going to be an even more daunting task for them. No one at this point is entirely sure what direction they are going to go in but I believe that they might be a reboot of the whole DC universe at least up to a certain part of it. There are few actors that is no longer going to be part of the whole universe so replacing them might be difficult to explain. One thing that Marvel did very well was pretty much keeping most of their original cast together and that did go a long way when it comes to the story that they were trying to tell. For DC they already lost Ezra Miller as the Flash and now they still also need to decide who Batman is going to be going forward. They currently have Ben Affleck as the Batman, he was the Batman in the Justice League movies and he's also going to be Batman in the new upcoming Flash movie but then there is also Robert Pattinson. So the big question now becomes what are they going to do? Who is going to be Batman going forward? Is it going to be Robert or is it going to be Ben Affleck? Ben Affleck did say that he has no interest in pushing forward as Batman but since then he has appeared in two more movies so at this point no one really knows. And then the Joker timeline also doesn't align at all with the rest of the universe. So what are they going to do when it comes to that? They already teased the new Joker in the new Batman movie that was released so it's also going to be interesting to see how all of that is going to fit together. Now I also need to be clear here especially when it comes to the Joker, not everything needs to align perfectly the way that Marvel was doing things. Just because Marvel made sure that every movie was tying into each other and that every time timeline was overlapping doesn't mean that DC needs to do exactly the same thing. Joaquin Phoenix Joker can exist in a completely different timeline and they can also still have the Batman and move forward with a completely new Joker and I think in both of those cases fans will still be extremely happy. DC can do their own thing and it doesn't necessarily need to be exactly the way that Marvel used to do things. Now also just to bring things back here to the director's cut of Suicide Squad, Screen Rant does say it that although Gunn is one of the co-leaders of DC Studios, no movement has been made on the Suicide Squad which he wrote and directed in 2021. If Gunn isn't even focused on the franchise that he began working on when entering the DCU, it is perfectly understandable why the co-CEO wouldn't focus on Ayer's original cut. However, once they have their roadmap planned out and have it fully green led by Warner Bros, it is not impossible that Iron Suicide Squad could be distributed to the world within the next 4 or 5 years if it makes sense as part of their plans. It could also just be a matter of waiting worth putting it out once HBO Max and Discovery Plus has been fully combined which is going to happen in the spring of 2023. Ultimately only time will tell what is going to happen from this point forward.